What's up everyone welcome back into another interesting video and today it's time for reviewing a new competitor in the AOSP ROM community the project matrix. So I've been using this ROM on my POCO X4 Pro for a while and let me tell you that this is the most complete ROM out with Android 14 and the reason why I'm saying it watch the video till the end to know that. So firstly starting with the software so when you move into the settings I mean just look at the menu I have never saw something like this and personally I love the interface I mean you get this type of animation which looks great and other than that when you scroll down you can also see how the transition changes for the search bar. Apart from this when you look at the about tab this looks damn good so for the interface it's a 10 out of 10 for me. Now this room comes on Android 14 and for the security patch it comes with the November security patch and for the kernel it comes with the stock kernel. So the shout out for this room goes to Ashwin OP and not only for the room he helped me a lot to build my rooms too. So thanks bro and nice work. Now for the launchers so this room comes with the matrix launcher so firstly moving into the wallpapers and style section you get this type of interface and you get a lot of theming styles for your system and apart from this you also get the themed icons option which will enable put this type of monet theme to all the apps. Apart from this you can also change the app grid size from here and now talking about the lock screen features so you get this type of new android 14 exclusive clock styles for your lock screen like if I select this style and check out my lock screen it appears like this. Now talking about the home settings so you get a lot of customizations for your home screen like firstly moving into the icons tab you can control the icon size and font size and even you can change the app icon pack from here like if I select the Linux icon pack it gets applied for my home screen. Now talking about the home screen features so you get the features like wallpaper scrolling and zooming and other than that you also get the hot seat background feature. Apart from this you also get features to control the search bar corner radius and moving back you also get features for recent menu like controlling the background opacity and you can directly check the memory info from here too. Now you also get some miscellaneous features like hiding apps which is to be honest a great feature for your privacy so yeah that's all for the launcher features. Talking about the pre-installed apps so as this is the G apps build so you get the google play store pre-installed that works fine and for the dialer so you get the google dialer for now. Now for the camera you get the generic camera app that doesn't take great pictures to be honest and for now you don't get any Dolby Atmos but you get the Lineage OS audio effects pre-installed which is also a good alternative for enhancing the music experience. Now if I talk about the features and customizations so firstly moving into the settings you get this tab called matrix settings so when you open it you get a lot of features for customizing your whole system like firstly moving into the buttons tab you get some customizations regarding power menu and volume buttons. Moving back you also get some features for a lock screen like you get multiple clock presets for the lock screen like if I select this preset and check my lock screen it appears like this. Now you also get some miscellaneous features but before we talk about them I'm seriously in love with the interface. I mean for me they are 10 out of 10 so a big shout out for the matrix design team. So firstly you get the game space where you can add your games for getting some extra features and apart from this you also get the spoofing features for higher FPS in games, unlimited storage for google photos and netflix spoof. Apart from this you also get some features for your notification like the head up feature but other than that you also get this island notification that actually displays the notification like the dynamic island you get in the iPhone and to be on it and to be on it it appears in the same way a notification appears for the dynamic island. Now you also get some features for your QS panel like you can customize the QS panel tiles like currently I have set mine one on the default style and now if I select the shaded style it gets applied on my QS panel. 
Moving into the QS styles layout, you get an option to change your QS panel style into the Android 11 QS style which appears like this when I apply it. And apart from this, you also get options to hide labels and adjust the rows and columns. Moving back, you also get some features for your sound like the music pulse which displays some bars on your navbar, ambient display and lock screen while you play any music and you get a lot of customizations for it too. Apart from this, you also get some vibration features for your calls and now talking about the status bar features, so firstly you get some customizations for your clock like you can add background chip to your clock and apart from this, you also get a feature for adding a logo on your status bar. Moving down, you also get a lot of battery styles like right now I have set mine one on the landscape iOS 15 style and when I select the portrait iOS style, it gets supplied for my status bar. Now talking about the miscellaneous features, so firstly you can customize the ambient display from here like you get features for edge light which triggers light on the edges when the notification arrives and now moving back, you can also customize your screen of animation like if I select the CRT style you get this type of animation while I turn off my screen. Now you also get various UI styles like if I select the Shishu Knight style, you can see that the UI style for my system gets changed and you can also see the wallpaper on my settings background. Moving down, you also get various navbar styles like if I select the OnePlus style, as you can see that my navbar style gets changed. Apart from this, you also get various font styles and icon packs like if I select this plumpy icon pack from here, as you can see that the system icon gets changed which kind of looks cool and you can also customize your signal and Wi-Fi icons from here and finally last but not the least, you can also customize the app icon shape from here. Now if I talk about the security settings, so this time you get the face lock which works fine and yes fingerprints also works fine too. So yeah, that's all for the features and now let's talk about the performance of this room. Now talking about the performance, so firstly the Antutu scores came where 445k which is absolutely great and for the CPU throttle test, no CPU throttling was detected and the max chip score came about 224k which is nice. Now talking about the gaming performance, so it's really good. So firstly let me tell you that as usual, you get 90 FPS unlocked for smooth graphics but for better consistency I performed the test under 60 FPS settings and for that the performance was really amazing. So for TDM I got about 58 to 59 FPS consistently even for longer sessions and for classic matches you can expect approximately 57 FPS. So yeah, the gaming performance met my expectations. Talking about the bugs, so as this ROM is currently on its beta phase, so you can expect very minor bugs but apart from this, I don't have any issues with it. So if I talk about my conclusion, so if you are looking for a ROM with good features with great battery backup and is based on Android 14, then you should definitely try this ROM. I mean to be honest, this is currently my favorite Android 14 ROM, seriously. So for the flashing process, you will need Android 14 AOSP recovery, all file links in the description so make sure to check them out. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to like it, share it with your friends and most importantly, sub to our channel. So goodbye and take care.